Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome to Yoga with Rachel, and also welcome to your yoga practice to help calm down the nervous system. So this class includes both tools and strategies that will help offer a reset to the nervous system. These tools and strategies are ones that you can take with you off the mat and into your daily life. For today's practice, I invite you to bring a blanket, pillow, or couch cushion to your space. You can do a portion of this practice from a chair or a couch. And without further ado, let's get started. I invite you to join me in a cross-legged seat on your mat, or you can begin today's practice from a couch or a chair. If you are sitting on the ground, permission to sit on a couch cushion or a folded blanket. You can sit close to the edge of your folded blanket or couch cushion to offer a lift in your hips as your legs ground down. I invite you to explore finding length through your back body and then very slowly release your chin closer towards your chest. Begin to draw some slow semicircles with your nose. We are moving slow as this can send a message to the brain that we are slowing down the pace. Soften your gaze or close your eyes as you do this. Soften through your jaw parting your lips and your teeth slightly. You can continue these semicircles or you can explore full circles. A kind reminder to breathe as you do this movement, noticing where you feel the stretch taking place and how it feels. Bring your head back to center with your chin parallel to the ground. As you breathe in through your nose, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. And now a sharp exhale out through your mouth to drop your shoulders away from your ears. <sighs> breathe in to lift your shoulders towards your ears. Let out a big sigh through your mouth as your shoulders fall away from your ears. <sighs> Twice more on your own. Great job. I invite you to give yourself a hug. Wrap yourself up in a warm embrace. Another option is to gently place your left hand on your heart space. Take a moment to breathe here. Maybe even bow your head. If it feels good, you can close your eyes. Observe your thoughts. Feel your emotions. If things feel heavy right now, I invite you to deepen your breath. Allow your emotions to flow through you, even if it feels difficult or uncomfortable right now. These emotions are temporary. Nothing in life is static.
If you feel like your nervous system is on overdrive, you are not alone. This practice will help soothe frayed nerves, release stuck emotions, and will help you let go of anything that just isn't serving you well in the present moment. I invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose. And now breathe out through your mouth. Release your hands or your hand to your thighs. Lift your head and open your eyes. Look around your space. What do you see? Say three things that you see either in your head or out loud. What do you hear? Maybe it's something off in the distance or nearby. What do you smell? Perhaps it's food, perfume, lotion. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your right hand away from your thigh, bend at your elbow, your palm faces away from your body. With the left index finger, we are going to trace around each finger. I will explain how this works, and then you can give it a try. I am placing my left index finger at the base of my right thumb along the side. As I breathe in through my nose, my left index finger traces up the side of my right thumb. I retain my breath at the top. As I breathe out through my mouth, my left index finger traces down the other side of my thumb. And then I repeat this process, breathing in to go up the right index finger, retain the breath, open mouth exhale to slide down the right index finger. I personally prefer a light touch when I do this technique as I can feel more sensations this way. Okay. Let's do the right hand together. Starting at the base of the thumb, breathe in to slide your left index finger up. Retain the breath at the top. And now open mouth exhale, slowly moving the left index finger down the thumb. Breathe in to go up. Pull the breath at the top. Breathe out to go down. Breathe in. Retain your breath for a moment. And now open mouth exhale. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Great. Move on to your left hand now. I invite you to try this on your own. Take your time. Observe the sensations flowing through your hands and maybe even into your arms as you do this technique.
Wonderful. Release your hands to your thighs. Take a breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose or your mouth. We are going to explore one of my favorite anxiety management techniques, which is tapping. We will be tapping areas of the face and the scalp with the fingers to help us tap into the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest or the rest and restore component of the nervous system. So gently place your index fingers and middle fingers on the bony part of your jaw. So if you were to open up your mouth, you can really feel that bony part. With your jaw relaxed and your lips slightly parted, start to lightly tap this area with your fingers as you breathe in and out of your nose. Focus on the tapping sensation as we release tension from the jaw. We tend to hold a lot of emotion here, like anger, frustration, overwhelm, stress. And now move your fingers to your cheeks and begin tapping around your cheeks. Keep your breath flowing. Visualize releasing tension from your facial muscles on each breath out. Move your fingers to your temples and start lightly tapping. This is great for headache or migraine relief. Soften through your eyes as best as you can and relax your shoulders down. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now begin to tap along your forehead. You can stimulate the third eye point, the point between the eyebrows. This is an area of great tension. This area can become tense when we draw the eyebrows together. Concentrating on a task, anger, and looking down at your phone can bring the eyebrows closer together. This tapping method is also great if you experience tension due to sinus inflammation. Wonderful. Let's take this tapping to the top of the head now. To your scalp and you can use more fingers now. Keep your tapping gentle as we don't need to go too hard or too deep in order to experience all the amazing benefits that this technique has to offer. Finally, take your tapping near and around the base of your skull. Bring your attention back to your breath in case you lost it. Lean into these sensations. Release your hands to your lap, palms face up, fingers are soft. Take a slow breath in through your nose. And now breathe out through your mouth. I invite you to notice how you feel. If you are sitting on a chair or a couch, I invite you to join me on your mat now. Place your hands at your sides and then place your feet out in front of you. Walk the soles of your feet together and then allow your knees to open up like a book. Feel free to play around with the space between your heels and your body to find a place of ease and comfort. Place your hands on your ankles. Take a breath in through your nose. 
And then as you breathe out, send your elbows from left to right, round through your spine, bow your head as you fold forward. I invite you to remain here in stillness if that feels good, or you can find a gentle sway from side to side. Or maybe you would like to explore a combination of the two. Hip openers are great for releasing stuck emotions in the body. Emotions tend to accumulate here. You may experience a lot of tension, tightness, and stiffness in the hips and the lower back. So this posture can help ease this tension as we let go of anything that just isn't useful in the present moment. When we fold inward, it also gives us an opportunity to reflect upon what's happening internally, checking in with thoughts, emotions, as well as your energy level. Breathe in, and then on your breath out, slowly roll up through your spine. Make your way to all fours. Feel free to use a folded blanket to pad your knees. Find your tabletop position. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hip points. As you breathe in, drop your belly, lift your heart space as you look forward. On your breath out, tuck your tailbone under, round through your low, mid, and then your upper back, releasing your chin closer towards your chest. Breathe in to lift your tailbone towards the sky, Belly drops closer towards the earth. Lift your chin slightly. And then breathe out to round through your spine. Press away from your mat to deepen the stretch. I now invite you to take it away. Feel free to close your eyes as this can help slow down the movement. I also like to close my eyes while flowing between cat and cow because it can help me visualize stagnant energy that has been stuck within my spinal chain, finally flowing like a wave that comes crashing up onto the shore and then recedes back into the body of water. Wonderful. I now invite you to find a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under and then send your hips back towards your heels. Feel free to walk your hands forward a little bit more if you are looking for a deeper stretch throughout the back body and also into your shoulders. This pose offers such a lovely stretch to the soles of the feet as well. Send your breath to the areas where you feel a good stretch taking place. We are here for three breath cycles. Press your palms down into the ground. Connect to your center and then rise back up to a tabletop position. Untuck your toes, and then walk your legs and your feet together. Send your hips back towards your heels. 
slowly release your chest to the tops of your thighs and then allow your forehead to gently kiss your mat. Now slide your hands back towards your feet. You can use this as an opportunity to massage your feet. If you are looking for a little bit more space, you can choose extended child's pose instead with your knees wide and your hands reaching forward. I invite you to breathe into your back body, noticing where you feel the breath moving you. How does this shape make you feel? There's no right or wrong answer. Just something to think about as you breathe in and out. Take a breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Slide your hands forward. Press your palms into your mat. And then very slowly, lift your upper body away from your thighs. All right. I now invite you to slowly make your way to your back body. Place your blanket or your couch cushion off to the side. Once you are on your back, place your feet on your mat, feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Walk your heels closer towards your glutes. So that way your knees are roughly in line with your ankles. Allow your arms to run alongside your torso. Palms are on the ground. I encourage you to move slowly as we move in and out of bridge pose. Root down through the soles of your feet, arms and hands as you slowly lift your tailbone away from the ground and now lift your low back and your mid back, lifting your hips towards the sky. Take a breath in here and then as you breathe out, slowly lower your back body to the ground. Feel each part of your spine connecting to the ground as you lower. Breathe in, lifting your hips slowly towards the sky. Feeling that stretch throughout the front of your body. And then on the breath out, nice and slow, Lower your back body down to the ground. Breathe in to lift, moving with your breath. This time as you breathe out, I invite you to sway your hips from side to side as you lower and release your back body to the earth. Once you are there, I invite you to hug your knees in towards your chest. You can place your hands on your kneecaps or on your shins. You can explore a gentle rock from side to side or remain here in stillness. As you breathe in, feel your back body, including your low back, deepen its connection 
to the surface beneath you. Feel the rise of your belly on your inhale. And then notice the fall of your belly on your exhale. Release your feet to the earth. We are nearing the end of our practice together. I would like to offer you a choice. You can either make your way to a cross-legged seat, or you can choose to stay on your back. If you decide to sit upright, carefully roll onto your side, and then press yourself up to a seat. If you would like to remain on your back, Slowly extend your legs out long. Take your time. And then release one arm at a time to your sides. Wherever you are, I invite you to close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Notice which parts of your body are connected to the surface beneath you. Feel your body growing heavy here. I invite you to visualize a calming color radiating from all areas of your body as you continue to connect with your breath. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in. Open mouth, exhale with a sigh. Ah. Breathe in. Breathe out, let it all go. If time allows, you can pause this video to stay here longer. If you need to carry on with your day, I invite you to place your left hand on your heart space and then place your right hand on top of your left. Feel the warmth of your hands on your heart. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope that this practice served you well. Return to this practice whenever you are looking for a nervous system reset and kindly share this practice with others. Sending love, light, and gratitude to you, my friend. Namaste.